Computer users have long wanted thinner and, and lighter notebooks to be able to have greater mobility, but they also don't want to compromise performance and capability when they come back to their desk. Intel originally developed Thunderbolt technology with this in mind, being able to run data, video, and power over a single cable. Looking ahead to the next generation, we realize we need a new connector both to double the speed yet again as well as uh, make it thinner to be able to fit into the latest computers. Thunderbolt 3 uh, doubles the performance over Thunderbolt 2, both in data uh, bandwidth as well as video bandwidth. Now, Thunderbolt 3 running at 40 gigabits per second is uh, actually four times faster than the fastest USB. Uh, this enables compelling new usages. If you had a playlist of, of music that you played for continuously for an entire year, you'd be able to transfer all of those songs in under five minutes. You can transfer a 4K movie in under 30 seconds. Some of the key usages we look at are, number one, 4K video. So now you're able to do everything you need with 4K video in terms of editing, displaying, storing. Uh, second would be um, single cable docking. And the unique advancement here, you're able to charge a notebook from a dock up to 100 watts of charging into the notebook. Third would be external graphics. This allows you to take a desktop uh, graphics controller and put it outside of a notebook and connect it over Thunderbolt, being able to do very extensive gaming uh, or even business applications. And then the uh, fourth area is uh, Thunderbolt networking, where you're able to connect two or more computers together, running at 10 gigabit ethernet speeds. So you're able to do fast uh, file transfers, uh, PC migrations, or even set up small work groups uh, with shared storage. We expect initial products to come out before the end of 2015 uh, with the ramp in 2016.